<laughs> on the ground. Keep chatting with us, guys. Share your thoughts. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Use that hashtag, the, the live Dow. Over to you. Thank you so much. If your grandma ever told you to save something because it might be worth a lot of money someday, then Renee and Jessica Poole are the ones to call to see if she was right. They join me now to talk about their unique store downtown. Welcome to both of you. How are you? Thank you. Good. How are you? Great. Thank you, Renee. Let's start with you. Tell us about your store and why you decided to open up over a decade ago. Well, um, I'm an estate liquidator, um, so I do estate sales on site at people's homes, and we... There's a lot of estate sales that are too small, so I thought it would be great to start a warehouse. So you've been doing this before it became popular on HGTV. Yes. So you've been doing this for a very long time, and do people have some really good things here in Vegas? They do, mm -hmm. and some not so much. Yeah. <laughs> You've collected some great things, though, through your store, which is a consignment store, right? And what does that mean, a consignment store, for people who do not know? So a consignment store basically means if you have an item that you wanted to sell, you can bring it to us, we sell it for you, and then we take a percentage of what we sell it for. So that way the people don't have to worry about it. They, exactly. You don't have to put it on. You don't have to deal with the people. Yeah. You bring it to us. We do it for you. We're going to get more than you're going to get because people are coming to find us. They're going to find your item. And so we're kind of like the, the medium. Yes. Right. And, a, and a lot of people don't have enough uh, for us to do an estate sale. Right. So, so collectively, you've got a lot of items to sell at your warehouse. Yes. Can you we're 12,000 square feet. Oh, yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Now, can you tell us about some of the great things that you brought in today? Yeah. Sure. Um, uh, we brought a little bit of, of all eras. Um, this is just a really cool shadow box that somebody made, mm -hmm. which is all mother related. So it has like a mother hanky and mother cards and I love you mother and a mother oh. locket. Mm -hmm. And it's just a cute way to collect all kinds of little things and then show them off in a shadow box. Mm -hmm. And what about this stuff right here? So this is more of a retro. We kind of tried to bring some retro stuff, which more of the younger generation is collecting, the retro mm -hmm. is coming back. Um, so we've got some Pyrex that people actually use nowadays in their fridges, so it's come back. Mm -hmm. um, Pyrex so, is super popular. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really popular. Um, so just some fun solo cups, little picnic basket, something to bring in your picnic basket. So we've got our little retro area over here um, next to a not so retro, adorable. <laughs> That's so cute. Perhaps. Yeah. So people will bring in ha uh, clothing and hats mm -hmm. and accessories. We have some clothing, some uh -huh. we have tons of costume jewelry. We've got some clothing. We've got lots of. We've got. I mean, you name it, we probably have it. We have things that department stores carry at a much lower price. All mm -hmm. you're not, you're just not getting the box. And look at the Lifetime magazine mm -hmm. in, in the original cover. Yes. The little thing that it came in. Yeah, we have literally a hallway full of magazines, of postcards, of newspapers, all vintage, all all real and vintage. This is something you could get right now. Mm -hmm. Anthropology, but this is old glass. Mm -hmm. This is old, line, yeah. yeah. Yep. This is old depression glass, mm -hmm. and as you can see, some of it was made. This is called elegant glass from the same period, but it was made for a, a better dress table. Um, and then this is depression glass, and this is the pink depression glass. It's wonderful. And you have a special offer going on as well. Yes, we're giving for fifteen percent off that? for anyone who mentions the show. Now, have fights ever broken out in your store over an item that was rare? Um, not so much at the store as at the estate sales themselves. I mean, we've actually had people like tear aluminum foil out of each other's hands. Yes. Yeah, aluminum over oh, aluminum. What was so yeah. special about aluminum foil? Because, because it's, when you think about what you're saving, as opposed to when you go to a store and you buy aluminum foil, and it's uh -huh. four or five dollars, and we're selling it for a dollar. So when you think about how Prices. much, yeah, when you think about toilet paper and silly things like aluminum foil, and you're just your kitchen products. How much you're actually saving when you come to an estate sale? It's mind-boggling when you do the math. Yeah, because we sell the pots, the pans, the the, the spices, everything. Just so. everything. It's yeah. not nailed down, basically. Exactly. exactly. That's well, exactly it. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Find out if your old stuff is trash or treasure at Not Just Antiques Marks. They are located on Western Avenue in downtown Vegas and are open Monday through Saturday from 10:30 to 5:30. Learn more at the website on your screen. We'll be right back.